one is a bit more hotly debated, uh, and this is the topic of breastfeeding. Now, breastfeeding, it's funny, like in the circle that we're in, there was so much debate over is it okay to pull out your breast and people can see your breast when you're breastfeeding or not? Is it a sin? Is it immodest? And there was all this debate going back and forth. And the reason why there's all this debate amongst people that believe and hold to the King James Bible is because it's not clear in the Bible. Because you know, if there was a passage that just said, do not show your breasts, then the argument's over. So it just proves the fact, you know, amongst people, I'm, I'm talking about people that actually believe like we do, you know, not people that just don't take the Bible literally and things like that. I mean, there's, a, there's so much debate. It's because there is no clear passage that just says it's outright wrong. Because you can't rule out breastfeeding for nakedness because, you know, number one, is it even a sin to reveal your nakedness? Number two, if it is, breasts are not nakedness. So you can't say cover them up due to nakedness. So the only way you can say cover them up is modesty. But because modesty is not something specifically stated in the Bible, people are arguing over their opinions on what modesty is. And this is why there's so much inconsistency because when it comes to defining your own rules, you can create whatever you want. You know, like, because if you say, well, it's right for me to show, it's wrong for me to show my breasts if I go, uh, you know, swimming or play sports, but it's okay for when I breastfeed. I mean, that's your opinion. So who's to say you're wrong? I mean, nobody can say, well, no, you can't do that. No, you can't set that rule. Well, that's my rule. But where it is wrong is when somebody creates a rule like that and expects everyone else to follow it. Like if I set a rule and say, well, it's okay for my wife to breastfeed with her, with her, with her breast out, but you know, I don't want her wearing a bikini when she goes swimming and I don't want her to wear a sports bra when she does something strenuous or anything like that or she's competing in a sport or something like that. If I'm to say, well, you can't do that either, well, aren't I stepping outside of my authority? How can I tell you to do something that's my own opinion, that's not backed by the Bible? Now, if you agree with that and you get your wife to do those things, then you are in sin from the principles that we have. So breastfeeding is not an issue of nakedness. This is why there's so much debate. Um, it, it's not a sin to, to pull your breasts out to feed your baby if you can do it in good conscience. Remember those questions that we went through. If you feel that it's not the right thing to do and then you did it, you'd be in sin. But some people don't feel like there's a problem to do. You know, Some people don't have the same level of shame as somebody else. So they would pull it out um, and, and breastfeed and, and not cover it and things like that. Other people might cover. You know, in terms of my opinion, you know, me and my wife, like, I mean, we, we prefer, she will do everything in her power to cover up, whether it's turning away, going to another room, going to a place that's not as, as busy as other people. She'll use something like a breastfeeding cover. You know, if she does pull her breast out, she might pull her shirt down just so everything is covered. But... You know, there have been situations where we don't have a cover, it's really hot, and she has pulled it out. And, you know, if somebody catches a glimpse of it, you know, I don't so much have a problem with that because that's just my opinion. That's just my standard. I'm fine with that because of the situation, maybe the climate, the location. You know, we're somewhere that's crowded and it's really hot. Am I, am I going to put my force her to put the baby underneath the cover um, and sweat it out just to feed them? Or would I just allow them in that instance to, to pull it out and maybe try it and be as modest as possible. So, you know, this is my opinion. You know, do you believe it's modest? That's what you've got to ask yourself in terms of breastfeeding. Um, should you let another man look at your breasts? These are some questions to ask yourself. Do you think it, that it's okay? Um, and obviously based on Bible principles, that should guide your thinking. You know, can you do it in a way where no one can see your breasts? You know, whether you need to cover, turn or use a shirt. You know what I find is really funny? Because there, there is a group of women that are very strongly, you know, you can take out your breasts and don't tell me to cover my breasts. I can do what I want. I already talked about that attitude is the wrong attitude. But what I find funny is a lot of these fundamental Christians that we know that are okay with pulling your breasts out and seeing like the majority of your breasts to breastfeed don't, won't do that themselves. So they'll show like all these pictures of like women, like, you know, breastfeeding, because, you know, you can pull, either pull your shirt up or pull your shirt down to breastfeed, right? Most women will, well, my wife, she'll pull her shirt up so she can put the baby there. You're seeing maybe her tummy and then sort of cover the top of her breast. But some women might wear a singlet, right? So they might pull their breast out this way and then feed their baby. And then what people complain about is being able to see the top of that breast. So what I find funny is like they'll show these pictures and say, oh, look at all these women showing their breasts, breastfeeding and, and, and um, you know, show pictures from the, the 1800s and 1900s or whatever, people sitting in church showing their breasts. But then when they show pictures of themselves, that's not what it looks like. When they show pictures of themselves breastfeeding, it's like covered, turned away. So to me, it's kind of like you've got to ask yourself that question. You're fine with showing 
pictures of other people breastfeeding with their breasts out, but when it comes to you actually breastfeeding, you ought to think it's covered, but yet you think it's okay for women to breastfeed with their breasts uncovered. It, to me, it's just like, it, that's a bit inconsistent. But then who am I to say they're wrong, right? Because that's their own standard. Because when it comes to modesty, you know, if that's, if that's what they, their rule is, that's fine. It's just that I don't need to follow that rule because that's, that's their own standard of how they've reasoned in their own mind what is okay for them to do and what not to do. So you may feel different on this topic and that's okay. Um, but see, my wife is commanded to obey me. So let's say I say to my wife, no, you will not breastfeed uncovered in public. If she then does that, she's in sin because she is disobeying another command to obey her husband in all things. Um, so that's something women need to keep in mind. <clears throat> so another point would be don't be a hypocrite with your own standards. And I already talked about other scenarios like sports bars and, and beach clothing because you know, somebody might make the case and say, well, you know, they'll set a rule and they'll say, well, if I'm breastfeeding, that's why it's okay to pull my breast out. Because I, I think, this is my opinion, this is not my opinion now, but I'm talking in regards to somebody else. So they'll say, I think that, well, it's just so natural, it's just so normal, that it's fine to pull your breast out to breastfeed. But then sometimes these same people will say, well, you know, you, it's fine to pull your breast out and to just bare your whole breast to feed your baby. But if you were to do that by going to the beach, like if you were to wear a bikini, you know, God forbid, like that, that is, that is just, you know, so sinful and so wicked because they're judging a person's intention. They're, they're saying, well, those people are just going to the beach or they're just wearing that attire because they want to draw attention to themselves. But that, that's not necessarily the case. You know, some people might wear like a sports bra just because they don't necessarily want to wear a t-shirt when they're going to go to the gym or something like that. So I don't necessarily think we can judge a person, person's motives, but my point is, to me, it's a little inconsistent, in my opinion, that if I'm gonna reveal the same amount of breast, that it's okay if I'm breastfeeding, but it's wrong if I'm wearing a bikini. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's almost like, like if you can imagine, like you have a picture of a, I'm sorry guys, you have a picture of a breast, right? And then, let's say for example, you put, a baby's head over the top of that breast. But you can see the same amount of breast. That's modest in, most, in, in, in these people's opinion. But if I replace that baby's head with a piece of material, that's now immodest. Now see, to me, that, that's a little inconsistent. But see, if, if somebody has created their own rule according to modesty and say, well, because the intention is feeding your baby, that's fine, but any other intention is wrong, that's a rule that they've set for themselves. They can't apply that to other people. Whereas to me, if I say, well, it's okay to reveal, reveal your breasts with a, with, with a baby in front, to me, how do I make the case to say it's wrong for somebody else to put a piece of clo cloth in front of it and therefore it's wrong? You know, if their intention is not to be looked at, they may have other reasons why they're wearing that attire. So hopefully that gives you some things to think about. I know not all of you might agree with what, what I'm saying right now, but I, that's why. This is, this is what, how the nature of doubtful disputations is that people, different people have different opinions. 